RCG Geek. Faith, fandom, fun. So, if St. Martin de Porres is the unofficial patron saint of Trekkies, could any other fandom have an unofficial patron? Seems reasonable, but which saint for which fandom? We have a few ideas. Here are 10 Fandom Patron Saints. Before going any further, here's the obligatory request to subscribe and click the bell icon. Star Wars. Ignatius of Loyola. Ignatian spirituality, and more specifically, discernment of spirits, is about figuring out what motions of the soul are from God and which are from the devil, which is at least vaguely comparable to the Jedi talking about the light and dark sides of the Force. Additionally, George Lucas was heavily inspired by Akira Kurosawa's 1958 samurai movie, The Hidden Fortress. Jedi resemble samurai, what with the attire and the katana-like lightsabers. So we think Blessed Takayama Ukan, martyr and samurai, would make a good unofficial patron saint. Tributes, Hunger Games fans. The author Susan Collins took inspiration from ancient Rome for the novel. For example, the country in the future is called Panem, which comes from the phrase Panem et Circenses, or Bread and Circuses. The idea was that the rulers would feed the population and provide entertainment, thereby keeping them docile. Also, the games themselves are basically gladiator fights. So we think saints who, like Katniss, are strong female figures and who were martyred in ancient Roman arenas would make good unofficial patrons. Specifically, Perpetua and Felicity. Someone else who could work is Maximilian Kolbe, because he volunteered to take the place of a man on death row in Nazi concentration camps. Or to put it another way... Whovians, Doctor Who. We're saying Paul VI. Firstly, because he was the Vicar of Christ when Doctor Who first aired on November 23, 1963. Also, the Doctor has a thing for traveling all across time and space. Paul VI was quite the traveler in his own right. He was the first Pope to visit six continents. The Doctor can also be described as a controversial figure on the show. Some people praise the Gallifreyan, others hate the Gallifreyan. That's kind of like Paul VI with his issuing of Humanae Vitae. In addition, St. Luke, patron saint of doctors. Potterheads. Now, as far as we can tell, neither God nor the devil exists in the fictional Harry Potter universe. So the witchcraft they have is not the witchcraft condemned by the church. So we really don't see any reason why Catholics can't be Harry Potter fans. For more on this, the channel Gregorian Chat has a great video on the topic. Link in the description box. We feel an appropriate patron would be St. Albert the Great. According to legend, he studied alchemy. Other legends say he even discovered the Philosopher's Stone. Yep, that Philosopher's Stone, or Sorcerer's Stone, depending on which version you read. Either way, Nicholas Flamel has got nothing on St. Albert. Also up for consideration is St. Kentigern, who apparently is the founder and patron saint of Glasgow, Scotland. You might not have heard of him called St. Kentigern, but rather by his nickname that stuck with him for life, St. Mungo. Hence our suggestion here, because of St. Mungo's Hospital for Magical Maladies and Injuries. The final holy individual for Potterheads? St. Hedwig. Yeah, so moving right along. Brown coats. Joss Whedon's space western Firefly is about. Oh come on! No! Don't you dare do this to us again! Ah. Okay. Okay. We're gonna have to come back with part two because right now we need to go cry in a corner. While we do that, here is the obligatory request to like, share, watch some more videos, and subscribe. May the Lord be with you.